Hey there everyone, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme, and today we're going to talk about section inheritance in Gantry 5.3 and beyond. Section inheritance is really cool. It's a great way to quickly set up and customize your site, and it is very easy to do. In this case, I just want to show you what we're working with. We have the Helium theme, which is absolutely free and available on Gantry.org. And it has two different outlines. One of them is affecting the home page, which is what you see right here. And the other one affects sub pages. And this is the base outline. And we have it set to create a default layout for all the pages that are outside of the home page. In the navigation section of our base outline, we have the logo, menu, and social particles all set up. And it looks beautiful and wonderful. But it isn't being reflected on our home outline, which is where our home page is pulling information from. We're going to make a change to that real quick, and it won't take very long at all. All you have to do is go into the back end of Gantry 5, and you'll notice in our home particles section, we have nothing in the navigation section here. Now we could go through and individually move particles over and fill this up and fill it all out, but that would take forever, and we don't want to do that. We're going to use inheritance instead. Over here in the base outline, we have everything set up. We have a logo image particle. We have the menu. We have a social particle. And I want to pull that directly over to the home outline, and that's very easy to do. All we have to do is go to the section settings, hit the little cogwheel, and go over to this new inheritance tab. And again, this is only available in Gantry 5.3 and above. So if you don't have that, please update and you will see this new tab. Now with inheritance, there's two different modes to choose from. One is clone and the other is inherit. Now with clone, you're making a copy, basically a one-time copy of the section you're inheriting from. And what that will do is it'll copy over its attributes, and or its particles, allowing you to get started with something that's already set up on another outline. However, this won't sync settings. So if you wanted to, for example, have a change made to the base outline and you want to see it reflected on all of the different outlines that are inheriting that section, that won't happen if you use clone. So we're going to use inherit in this case. The next thing you're going to want to do is select the outline. In this case, we want to use the base outline because that's the one with the navigation section we like. And then you can choose what to replace. Now this will outright replace anything you have set up for the section. So if you have section attributes set up, let's say you have a CSS class here, tag attributes, by inheriting those, you are replacing those with whatever is set in the other outline outright. The same goes with particles. If you choose to replace particles, you're going to replace any particles you have in the home outlines navigation section with whatever is in the base outline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these so that we can do an outright inheritance everything's going to be inherited from the base outlines navigation section. And you'll notice up here the section settings tab has a lock on it and it is now stating that it's inheriting from base outline. You can't make changes to an inherited section unless you're in the outline that you are inheriting from. And this is just basically to avoid any confusion and, and breakage because any changes made to one outline have to affect the other if you selected inherit as your mode. Now, if you did clone, everything's unlocked and you're basically copying everything over one time. I'm going to hit apply and save and you'll notice that in our layout, we have this grayed out section now with all of the settings and particles in place. And just to show you how everything is synced up, if I go over to base outline and I change the social particles width to 20 and save, then I go back to the home outline, the social particles width is now set to 20. Now, if I go to the home page and I refresh, you'll see that I now have this beautiful navigation section all ready to go with the logo, the menu, and the social particle. And everything looks pretty much the same as it does on any of the sub pages because it's pulling all the same settings and everything is done for you. And that's really basically it. That's all you have to know to get started with section inheritance on Gantry 5.3 and beyond. If you have any questions about inheritance or Gantry 5 in general, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to answer them as quickly as we can. For Rocket Theme, this is Ryan saying have a great day. We'll see you again soon.